half life of a substance is 6 hours if it is given iv the minimum time required for reaching a steady state plasma concentration is options are 6 hours 12 hours 20 hours and 30 hours now this concept is very important in pharmacology because it's it is the prerequisite for understanding any drug so now we will understand what is a half life what is a steady state plasma concentration how is a uh, half life estimated and other things right so what is this half life okay half life is the time taken for the drug concentration to fail to one half of its original value right so you have a constant small k the elimination rate constant is the fraction of the drug that is removed per unit time so this plasma half life we call it as t half okay t half of a drug generally measured by the time so how do you uh, tell this to decline the plasma concentration of the drug to 50 percent from the peak plasma concentration so peak plasma concentration by p max right this can also be termed like this so generally a drug will be completely eliminated after six half lives completely is six half life imagine your drug at zero stage is 100 percent okay your first half life will be 50 percent your second half life will be well 25 uh, percent your third half life will be 12.5 percent your fourth half life will be 6.25 percent fifth half life will be 3.125 percent and your sixth half life will be 1.56 percent right so if in question they ask minimum half life period you have to go at least for five okay five half lives okay so one more thing uh, generally a decline to 60 6.25 will usually be far below the threshold level that's what i told no fourth so for this for only for this reason they've told drugs no longer have a pharmacological effect four half lives after the last dose so once your uh, half life four half lives are completed it doesn't have a pharmacological effect so why is this half life very important this half life is a major uh, determinant for your uh, duration of action okay duration of action and uh, the time uh, required to reach a steady state concentration okay study state concentration and this is important to assess the dosing frequency okay how many doses you have to give that is important right like we know uh, either it is for an emergency purpose or it is for a maintenance treatment everything that we have to decide okay now we see about uh, the importance of half life so estimating the dosing schedule right it defines uh, it defines the time interval between the uh, doses so when you have to infuse a drug you have to know at how many intervals you have to give the drug right and estimation of time for elimination okay time of elimination time of elimination this is most important right so most mostly all of the drugs will be eliminated after minimum five hours minimum five half life okay five half life completely by six half lives right and uh, what is the study state you call something called a study state right the amount of drug administered is equal to the amount of drug eliminated right study state which means amount of drug which is administered say if you administer 100 mg your uh, drug eliminated is also 100 mg with one dosing interval resulting in a plateau concentration okay so you have two important uh, importance here so your drugs with short half life say you have a drug with a very short half life okay they reach the steady state concentration very rapidly got the point and your drug with longer half life okay they take weeks to days okay days to weeks to reach a steady state right 
you got this point what is half life what are the how do we estimate the half life what are the uses of the half life okay estimates the duration of action study state concentration dosing frequency time of elimination right and your dosing interval is more important right so if you see this uh, graph they have written the rate of attainment of a study state concentration of a drug so if they have start uh, they are starting the infusion of a drug okay drug infusion stop so wash out begins there is something called a wash out procedure so this is your half life this is second half life this is third half life okay 90% of the study state concentration is achieved in third half life got it so the wash out drug is an exponential with the same time constant for example the drug concentration declines to 50% of the study state concentration so coming back to the question they have given half life of a substance a is 6 hours so the minimum uh, required time for reaching a steady state plasma concentration would be i told you minimum is 5 half lives so 5 into 6 it is 30 hours i hope you got the answer now you have to know what is your half life how is it evaluated what are the uses why do we require a half life why do you have to estimate a half life and this calculation you you can have any number of questions based on this and among these you have a first order kinetics and a zero order kinetics that is important right you should not forget the half life principle at all so answer for this question will be your 30 hours I hope it is clear.